Hello and welcome to your weekly recommendation. I think it's Monday. I don't know. I feel like I'm trapped in a box and I never know what day it is. We are trapped in a box and it is Monday. Fabulous. So here's your Monday recommendation. But first, I'm Azzy. And I'm Mouse. And today we think you need to be listening to Cult of Aaliyah and their new album, Offerings, which was released Oh shit, I want to say July 29th? I think it was July 16th. July 16th, dang. On Cold Transmission Records, a label that we really enjoy. Um, This band hails from Sacramento, California, and I believe it's the solo project of David Wright. It is, and David Wright is from Crew Lies. Um, So this is his uh, love baby, um, Cult of Aaliyah. The name of the album is um, a reference to Dune. Alia of Dune, Atreides. Um, so I. Mouse I is a Dune nerd, by okay, the way. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. So I, I'm kind of excited. Um, just want to read the Bandcamp poetry real quick. It uh, says, themed around a future fueled by the fusing of technology, science, and religion, mixing elements of industrial dark wave. Cult of Alia stems from the imagination of David Wright as an emotional creative outlet. Yeah, and this album does hit futuristic sometimes. Like it's it's crazy because initially, not initially, but like my initial impression of was kind of like, hey, this kind of reminds me of like early 2010s, late aughts synth pop, kind of like a pop stigma. But then there are definitely these like futuristic, dark wave, very modern, very forward looking like synths and energy and 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 soundscapes. Like it's like spacescapes. I know, I always, whenever I, I, I hear music that reminds me of Spacescapes, I do think of like Blade Runner soundtrack Constantly. inspired. Um, so it's got a lot of that. It has um, some synth pop influence. Um, it, it it falls in more of the death, um, no, not death rock, sorry, wrong word, dark wave vein. Um, and uh, the, the vocals are really um, unobtrusive, beautiful. Um, so that would be like synth pop vocals to me. Mm-hmm. Same. I My just general overview of the album notes say that the album is like a slow torment on a dark and stormy night when all you feel is the despair of cold alienation. Oh my god. I so needed something as track, overwrought as the album itself. The opening track, A Voice Inside, um, I think it sets the tone of the album with like this kind of hard but also mellow um, industrial dance to a bit. And um, it's got this dancey synth in it, uh, which you'll hear throughout the EP. Is it is it an album or an EP? I'm not even sure. Ooh, it depends on how we feel about that remix. So it's only seven tracks. Um, the last track is a remix, and the track before that is an instrumental. So it's kind of like yeah, I love the instrumental them. mouse. We all know how she feels about instrumentals, but track uh, three though. The one that the remix is remixing, the only angel. This is this is a real groove of a song. It has this beautiful throbbing synth, a lot of mix and ebb and flow between like open space and wall of synth sound, and it still has a very organic flow despite the fact that it's. I believe it's completely electronic. Hmm? Crazy I, raver, very sci-fi future. I agree. I love this track. Um, I like its smooth, be- mellow vibe, mm. um, and I feel like the uh, chorus is so emotional. The way that he sings, and I think it just it makes those layered synths like stand out. And it's the most upbeat of all the tracks. So um, right, this one is it my has favorite. it has very light, kind of almost airy vocals, which is in stark contrast to track four, the message, which was my favorite, which started off with these like water drop like synths, and then uh, there's a beat that kind of echoes that but when the the vocals start they're so deliberate and insistent and they're much deeper and kind of actually remind me of um like skinny puppy and ogre i i thought you might say that um i think that whenever there's something that's um got some kind of industrial inspiration um it's it it has like some skinny puppy elements in it um this is almost like that to me. It seems like um, like Skinny Puppy Light a bit, skinny but more romantic. Light. More romantic, sure. I'm, I'm, for me, I get mostly the Skinny Puppy Ogre vibes on specifically the vocal delivery and the way that it's yes. like grinding and raw. Mm-hmm. This is my favorite track. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. 
Um, and then there's another track on there, Body Flow, um, which is great. Um, but I really think the strongest tracks are, um, for me, are those first three tracks. Uh, and, you know, the remix um, of The Only Angel. I, I prefer the original because I think that those emotional, um, the chorus just fits better with the original than it does with um, like a, a harder remix. I absolutely agree with that. I think that there was something that was a bit lost um, in the remix compared to, you know, just the, you know, meat and bones track on the album. But no, my favorite was was right in the middle. My favorite was the message. Cool. And that's where my lyric comes from today. Oh, really? The chains they drag, a burden self-imposed. That's the message. <laughs> <laughs> that's the message. That's great. All right. Well, um, I just have one last thing to leave you with. Um, don't worry about getting over your pain. Transform it into art. That's what it's there for. Can I add? Don't put yourself in experiences just for the sake of art, though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, don't do that. Yes. That's <laughs> all right. Bye, everybody. We love you. We'll see bye. you on Wednesday. Better